All right, everyone. Good Tuesday afternoon to you. I am meteorologist Stephen Metrograno here with your afternoon update. We have some light snow and light rain on the way for the rest of the afternoon. It really won't amount to much, but it could cause some wet roadways out there on your way home from work and school. Right now, currently in Norwalk, we have a temperature of about 31 degrees. The wind chill is 24 degrees, so it's still feeling even chillier out there. And we have overcast skies, and our dew point is sitting at 25 degrees, so it's still pretty dry out there, but that's enough to get some snow and rain to fall. That does indicate that there is some moisture in the air. Um, so all of that moisture and precipitation is moving in from the west, where we have winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And our weather headlines, really not a whole lot going on the next few days besides the cold temperatures. So we have a little bit of light snow and rain to get through to today and tonight. And then the cold air comes in for your second half of the work week. And then a quiet weekend on tap, really just not much to talk about going forward besides these temperatures. And currently right now we have 23 in Torrington, 29 in Poughkeepsie. That's where those areas will see mainly snow with this system. Uh, a couple inches there. Um, as you go further south and east, temperatures are actually fairly warmer there in Hartford, 35 degrees, Norwalk, 31 degrees, Manhattan, 37, and Kingston, Rhode Island, 34. And most of these locations will see a start off as snow, changing to rain, and then changing back to snow later on overnight tonight before ending in the pre-dawn hours for your day tomorrow. Again, not really a big deal. We have rain to snow tonight, gusty winds with this as it moves through with a low of about 21 degrees. Again, a coating at, you know, at most in some spots. The further north you go, you have the better chance of seeing an inch or two of snow. For your day on Wednesday, we have a high of 28 degrees, increasing clouds, and p.m. snow squalls. I just want to talk about this for a quick second. Uh, this is going to be very sudden, very quick hitting. People aren't going to expect this to happen, but the best way to describe what a snow squall is, is it's basically a heavy burst of snow, sort of like a heavy downpour in the summertime, but this is obviously in the winter, we're going to have a heavy snow squall. Uh, most areas are going to see this. It's, it looks like it's going to be a very big threat for the PM commute. It's a quick hitting, heavy burst of snow. That could easily drop a coating to an inch or two in, in most spots. It's going to be in and out very quick at the snap of a finger. And, um, you know, it's going to definitely catch some people by surprise come tomorrow evening. So I do want to pay attention to that for your day on Wednesday. And once that moves on out Thursday, the cold air is going to be filtering in behind this um, Arctic front that moves through. We're going to have the temperatures in the teens on thursday 16 is what i'm going for with the lows in the single digits and the cold air sticks around for friday high of 23 and the weekend we slowly begin to moderate with quiet weather heading into sunday we have a temperature of 40 degrees and look at monday sunny and a high of 45 degrees so quite the turnaround from the end of this week into the beginning of next week and yeah all things are quiet here in the weather world so Hope everyone enjoys the rest of their afternoon. Uh, again, a quick rain and snow mix. Not a big deal. The cold air comes in. And um, yeah, we'll talk again soon. Have a great afternoon, everyone.